Well, good morning, guys. I gotta get this truck started. We gotta haul a couple, oh, a couple loads of Dura Base for uh, the base of a driveway. So if I can get this uh, block heater unplugged here, then we'll go over to the other side. Kind of hard one-handed. <clears throat> put this cord up here so I don't run over it when I come back to park. Doo -doo -doo. Should be a pretty nice, fairly nice day to drive. Uh, I think there's about an inch and a half of fresh snow. So it doesn't look terrible, but just a little bit of caution and it should be fine. So, here we go. Should I put you in your mount? I don't know. I guess we'll just start it like this. There it is. It's about, I think 15 or 17 degrees, well the feel like is. Um, so, not super warm, but it started nice, so. But, that's a cat for you. So, I think we're about ready. I'm going to let it warm up for a while, let the air build up. Let some air get to the tanks, and then uh, we'll head off. Really, the... No, has not made today super enjoyable, but uh, just going down the county road here, I got uh, a little, about a mile and a half before I dump, um, on Dura Berm for a, ba or a, a, a base of a driveway, so I think I should get five loads in today, but uh, it's not not super hard to get five loads out of it. It's not oh, 20, 24 mile haul. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Uh, so far, everything's worked good. So that's all we can ask for. Uh, putting the trailer up in the air, it's kind of sketchy per se every once in a while, but it hasn't been too bad today. I only had one close call, so that's all we can ask for. So. That's what we're doing. Hopefully I can get some video of that at the driveway, but we'll see. So, we'll talk to you there. See ya. Well, I'm back here at the truck. This thing is awfully filthy, but it's a work truck, so that's fine with us. Uh, for now. Until I get a decent chance to clean it up and I know I'm done hauling for a while. Yesterday I was putting my bows back in so I could haul corn this morning, and I did. Um, if I take my bows in and out, just so the loader operator doesn't hit it, because they use pretty big payloaders to load. So, I took my bows out, and uh, as well as the ridge straps, which is just like a, oh, pretty much a ratchet strap going in from the front to the back to help hold up the tarp when you tarp it. So, I take those in and out. It's... It's a little bit of a pain, but it's, you know, cheap insurance, I guess. It ensures that I don't ruin my bows or someone else hits them. But either way, it's it's not too hard. And, you know, I have all my bows still. We've only got, only ever ruined one with a probe. But we just straightened it back and it's fine. So, leaving the truck tarped t tonight. Make sure there's no snow gets in it. But, yeah, it's kind of cold. My hand is holding the camera, which is pretty much numb now. I think it's like, well, I don't know. 
20 some degrees but you can tell a whole lot of corn left just from it shaking off the top so well hopefully we'll get some more footage for this video but if we don't hopefully it's still a good video and we'll see what else we get into so I'm gonna go to town refill a propane tank get some fuel then figure out what else I need to do. So, talk to you when we get there. We'll see you.